I've never seen anyone make a way out of nowhere like Jesus did. Crucified and dead on the cross. Buried. Died and buried in rose in three days. That's making a way out of nowhere.
I would approach it somewhat differently, but very accurately as I would expound on a risen Savior. In a passage that has become so popular to any believer, but one that I have recited and said over and over again, for to be a preacher of the gospel, you cannot get around it. It is cemented in any preacher's heart that way to Christ, that way of knowing what it takes to be a Christian, what it takes to be saved. And many of you would probably overlook the fact that the resurrection of Christ is the foundation of the passage. So then turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Romans 10, 9, and 10. The 10th chapter of Romans, verse 9, and verse 10. If you have it, say amen. amen. For if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. One more time, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, Confession is made unto salvation. You may be seated. May the Lord bless the reading of his word for the edification of our souls. You, you can help me this morning as you would very well help yourself by turning to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, neighbor I, found my way I found my way to heaven. All right, somebody sitting behind you say, neighbor, neighbor. I, found my way I found my way to heaven. Amen. You don't have the gospel yet if he just died and was buried. All you have at that point, he was just a good Dead man. We don't have a gospel with just his death and burial. That's our way. We will die and be buried. Uh, an unsaved man, that's it for the unsaved. He's just dead and buried. But to complete the narrative, of the gospel of Jesus Christ, he had to die, right. then be buried, then raised the third day. Right. There it is. That, that, that's the gospel 
of Jesus Christ. Uh, no other religion would dare claim that their Savior got up from the game. I remember I had a gentleman come and preach our revival uh, and uh, he declared he was in Chicago when Muhammad died. And nobody talked about him getting back up. And then uh, there was this guy that came on the scene called Confucius. Yeah. Yeah. And me and Nick him, Mr. Confucius. And then they they uh, Declared this Buddha uh, statue you cannot feel, cannot see. Uh, he is just a statue, and they, whenever he died, he stayed dead. And, and the rest of the isms and cults that come about, but we are the only one that our Savior died. And rose again the third day. And, and what we may miss out on is the very way you got saved. You had to believe that God was God enough to get up his son Jesus. Now that, that's, that can't be believed by just a fundamental mindset. The only way you can believe that is by and because we have believed it by faith, we have all found our way to heaven. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to, to frustrate the matter. You are not going to heaven because you're living good enough to go. You cannot live good enough to go to heaven. Your, your, your way to heaven is not contingent on, on, on how well you live. It's true. But you are saved by grace through faith and not that of yourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Well, crap preacher, maybe we can just live any way we want to. No, you can't. My Lord, my Lord. Paul says in Romans 6, 1, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid! But how shall we who are dead to sin live any longer therein? Well, you can't live any way you want to. Oh, they, didn't rail, they railed on us. They railed on Baptist folk. They railed on us. They said, oh, whenever there's four, there's a fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've heard that before. <laughs> they believe, they, they don't believe in eternal security. That's exactly the way the Lord died, that we might have a right to eternal life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. So, for every, anybody that just feel like they can live any kind of way and hold on and use, use grace as a license, there's something wrong, terribly wrong there. We don't rejoice in iniquity. We have spiritual convictions. You know what conviction is? It is to believe something. It is to, to, to have something that you believe is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. And that you will stand for it. Yeah. Regardless of the consequences. Yeah, right. Jesus turned our lives around. Yes. Not only did he save a soul, he saved a life. So Paul begins to write, and he says that if thou shalt confess, 
Confess means more than to say. It means to agree with God. If you don't agree with God, there ain't no sense in agreeing with nobody else. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You didn't hear me. The fear of the Lord is the very genesis, the beginning of knowledge. You can't say you have learned or know anything until you know how to respect and reverence God for who he is. That's right, that's right. I watch it get hot around here in the summer. And everybody's out around here on McKinley and Talbot and Whitney and, and, and Baird. And they just out. They're just moving, moving. And as soon as the sky gets dark and the rain, you should see everybody scurries to get in out of the weather. Out of the rain. Nobody that doesn't have to be in the rain that is on the corner anymore. Well, who started the rain? Oh, God is so big. He, he knows how to turn it on and turn it off. Uh, what a mighty God we serve. Yeah, uh, Sometimes you have it raining and the sun shining in the rain. Uh, he can do whatever he wants. He's God all by himself. All of us have had a praying church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, I'm agreeing. I, I agree with God. God, you are God. There's, there's none like you. There's none like you. I don't care what science says. Things just didn't happen. When the Bible says in Genesis, when, uh, when God, uh, 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 not, not, not God in the beginning, uh, in the beginning, God. Yes. Not God in the beginning. That means some beginning was there before God got there. No, in the beginning, God. And when he created the world, it was void and dark. And, and he spoke the world and everything we see into existence. The Greek word is ex, ex hilo. It means to bring something out of nothing. What a big explosion. Explosions tear up. They don't put together. You better think about yourself. How you got eyes to see and ears to hear and hands to feel and hold. And not only that, on the inside, you got a mind and then a heart, a, a heart, a heart that feels the, the seat of your emotions. Yeah. Here, here, the Paul says that if thou shalt agree with thy mouth and the Lord Jesus and shall believe in believe uh, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and then believe in thy heart. No, it's a heart belief. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yes, it is. Don't believe in your mind. That'll change on a bad day. Hmm. A whole bunch of things right up in here. You can fool around and I to lose my mind up in here. Oh, up yeah. in here. That's 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 right. It's settled in the heart that the seed of your will, you know what? The heart will not lie to you. Right. It'll let you know just what you're feeling. Yeah. It'll let you know just who you like. Yeah. It'll let you know just who you love. It's only when you give it to somebody else they can break it. Oh. You can't break your heart. Somebody else has to break it. My God, my God. That's good. Yeah, my God. Yeah. That's good. yeah. Show sure enough. I'm not going to break my own heart. That's right. That's right. That's right. I know who I love. I know who I care about. But as soon as I hand my heart to somebody else, they'll drop it and break it. That's right. That's right. You ain't, you ain't never went around and said, I broke my heart. No! Somebody else broke it. Because you gave, you let somebody else have it. Only oh, when you let Jesus have your heart. Oh, he'll handle it so carefully. You'll never break your heart. Oh. We're, we're to believe in our heart. Yes, Lord. You know, the heart of every problem. There's a problem in the heart. That's where it's settled. Relationships.
relationships. Everything we have when it deals with someone else. We, got, we, we know what our heart speaks us for us to do. Man, my heart, I, my heart said I shouldn't have went, but I went anyway. <laughs> that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart, in thine heart, that what? That God has raised him from the dead. I don't know about you, I ain't never seen nobody I knew get up from the dead. That's right. That's when they die, That's it. That's right. I, I know the procedure. I've been through it for too many times. Yes, yes. You bring the body to the church, it's over. We have the service. Uh-huh. From there we go to the committal, go to the mm-hmm. you know, uh, Mount Peace, Glendale. Make it plain. <laughs> one, one, one of those cemeteries. And I got to conclude it. You know, for as much as it has pleased the Almighty God to take from this life the soul of our deceased brother or sister, we therefore commit his or her body to the ground. Yeah. Ashes to ashes. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking forward to the general resurrection in the life to come. Now that only applies to somebody that found their way to heaven Amen. through Romans 10.9. Amen. Okay. I found my way to, to heaven because I believe that God was God enough to get a dead son up from the grave with all power in his hand. Period! That's it. There's a period after Romans 10, 9 that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Period. Not speaking in tongues. Not tarrying for the Holy Ghost. I gotta believe that God got Jesus up. Come on. That's right. That's right. Oh, you got it right. Knew he was dead. Yes, yes, Lord. The pushing up and letting down stopped. Jesus. The Sabbath day was coming. And the Jews declared you can't work on the Sabbath. So the two thieves, they were still pushing up and letting down the breeze. So they broke their legs. So they could hurry death along. But when they got to Jesus, he was already dead that the scriptures might be fulfilled that not a bone in his body was broken. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta believe that. Now, if I'm too, if I'm if I'm uh, if I'm too intellectual, I'll never believe this because there's a whole bunch of men talking about what does science have to do? What what does science say? And then science is good when science stays in its place. All right, that's right, that's right. But science ain't got no business trying to figure out God and Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I'm not here uh, to, to mitigate the validity of science. Uh-huh. It works in some areas. Keep it out of God. daughter just graduated my youngest baby. Baby. You know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Bastards from Akron U. And uh, there were more foreigners mm-hmm. at the graduation ceremony yes. than regular American yeah. people. And there were, uh, there were doctors and uh, the science of polymers and mm-hmm. the, the science, science, the science that. And it's big. There is some fact in science when science stays in science lane. Right, right, right. But when it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, 
He created science and the scientist. That if I shall confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and then believe in my heart that, that God raised Jesus from the dead, uh, that happened Easter. We call that Easter. Thou shalt be saved, period. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So Paul gets excited and, and, and he says in, in 13, whoso, whoso shall ever, who shall so ever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, now don't think that's just some haphazard call. No, that's not some haphazard call. That, that call comes from a person that has come to the end of themselves. The world has been beating them up. You know Satan has because his itinerary is to kill and to steal and to destroy. No, I don't care how long you've been in it. You've been getting really beat up by the devil if you haven't come to Jesus Christ yet because you ain't got nothing to beat him off with. He stole. He's robbed you of joy. He's robbed you of peace. He robbed you of hope. So this individual called upon the Lord. He's calling him Lord. Save me. It's the picture of that fellow. Minister Jenkins, this uh, it was it's, uh, uh, Pastor Frazier, his son almost passed. He's 13 years old. He almost drowned. And uh, I asked him after maybe a month after it happened, what what was that like? To take in the water and to be choking and, 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 and fighting for your life. And he, he said, oh, Pastor Glenn, I don't remember none of that. That's right. All I remember is how tired I was trying to breathe and stay up over the water. I, oh, that's all I can remember. I was so tired. I was so tired of fighting. And then I just passed out. I understood that if I didn't keep my head up, I would drown. So I kept fighting, and I kept fighting. I don't remember choking yet. I was too scared to get in my, I just got tired. So tired. Trying to save my own life. Yeah. Then I'm out. Without Jesus, you're just fighting. You're so tired. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Trying to save your own, your own life. That's why Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. I'll pull you. I'll pull you ashore. And, 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 and that's just what happened uh, to that young man because somebody reached down and got him and, come on, come on. and pulled him up Thank you, Lord. and revived him. Oh, that's what Jesus did for you. The minute you accepted him as your personal Savior, you were sinking fast, far beyond the peaceful shore. He reached down and pulled you up. Set your foot on a solid rock. Oh, this rock is Jesus. He's the one. This Rock is Jesus. He's the only one. Be sure now. I'm very sure that your anchor holds. Lord. And you grip the solid rock. Yeah. For the scriptures say, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. It is a wonder. The apostle Paul will declare, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Yeah, I, I found my way to heaven. 
in the midst of this old turbulent world. Yeah, I, 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 I will be in that number. You're going to be in that number when the saints go marching home. My God. So I'm about to say, so uh, <laughs> cherish. Yeah. Yeah, the old rugged cross. Yeah, to my trophy. At last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross. Yeah, and exchange it someday for a cry. I, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I got a home in glory and ain't that good news. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody got to know by now you can't live here forever and it won't be around forever. I, I got to make I got to make sure I got a residence somewhere else. I, oh, I heard the Apostle Paul talk about glory one day. He said, for I reckon that the sufferings, Roman 8, 18, the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. I found my way to heaven, I told you. Yeah, I'm still down here and I'm, I'm working on the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a home. And glory ain't that good news. So I'm about to say, I'm going to lay down this old world. Yeah, and I'll shoulder up my cross. I'm taking it home to Jesus. Ain't that good news. Now, this is telling me that if I want to be saved, then somehow I got to believe in what a whole bunch of normal people would deem impossible. I have to somehow, yeah, believe that when Jesus died, yes. after he had raised Lazarus, and just something then he died. Yes. And after he died, I gotta believe somehow that he was buried. Yeah, okay. And then when it looked like it was the end, oh. and everybody was crying, and what a terrible thing has happened. Oh, oh were no. you there? Yeah. When they uh, crucified my Lord, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, it causes me mm -hmm, to tremble, yeah, 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 yeah. tremble. Were well, you there when they pierced him in the side? Were well, you there when they pierced him in the side? Oh, sometimes, yeah. It causes me to tremble, yeah, tremble. Were you there? Were you there? When they, they laid him in the tomb, were you there? Oh, we sometimes it causes me to tremble, Lord, tremble. Were you there? Now somehow I got to believe that yes, he was dead. The coroner of that day pronounced him dead. They buried him. He stayed dead all day Friday and all day Saturday. But early, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Now, if he didn't get up, y'all might as well go somewhere else. But, oh, he got up. That's why we keep coming. That's why we keep praying. That's why we keep rejoicing. Because he got up. With all power in his hand. And every time I go to lead somebody to the Lord Jesus Christ, every time I go yeah. to lead somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I tell them, now listen, for God so loved the world that he gave all his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Oh, daughter, do you believe that? They say, I do. Romans 10, 9 and 10 gives us careful instruction how to make our way to heaven. It said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, period. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Oh! daughter, oh son, do you believe it? Oh, my child, do you believe that? I know you might not understand. It was hard for me to understand too, but I found out I can trust him by faith. Did you know faith is the only thing that pleases God? Faith is the only thing that pleases him. You mean, preacher, I can go around and stop drinking and stop smoking and stop chasing women and stop running around with people that do it and God won't be impressed. He said, no, no, there's no impressed about that. That's just, that's just discipline. You take faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please Him. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is God. And that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. On this Easter Sunday morning in March, 2024 in the year of our Lord I found my way to heaven doors of the church of the Lord if all minds are clearly standing go home